Okay, so we're like week three into jumping. Still triples, triple toes, triple sows, and just our double axles. The knee's starting to feel better on the axle because at first it was kind of hurting the bend here, but look at that. Look at that movement, crazy. Yeah, I tried a double flip last week and the ankle was like, no. So I've been doing uh, full programs, just substituting every jump with either an axle, a triple sow, or triple toe. So the contents don't make sense, but that's where I'm at right now. The ponytail is gonna have to live until I start competing again, and then I will chop it off. No, it's never been the right time. Like we're holding back the storyline. And I'm waiting at the end of the night. Thinking of you. Took your number from a friend, but I never go. I never go. I never go. I started writing a DM, didn't sleep at all. Thanks, there's two rotations in there. Yeah. <laughs> Originally I was planning for Orberstorf because I like really love that place and love the event, but immediately when I injured myself, I got in touch with Skate Can and I said, listen, that plan doesn't really make sense for me. So they penciled me in for Finlandia. And so you probably have seen my name in Finlandia. It's not gonna happen. There's no way. Like I'm I'm still working on just triple sows and triple toes in my program, which is funny because it's a lot of triple sows and triple toes. Can't go to Finlandia like that. Double loop is getting better. The ankle was hurting on double loop at first, but it's starting to get better. I tried a double flip last week, but the double flip was a little nasty feeling. So that's where the pain threshold, I'm like, okay. Flipping lots, not ready for that yet, which kind of sucks when I have two flips, sorry, two lutzes and a flip in my long. I could substitute a flip for a double axle, but I can only do so many double axles in a program. So that's gonna be the next step. And then um, the knee's getting better. I can almost do like a full quad stretch without feeling it, but whenever I'm squatting myself, I do still feel it slightly. On axle, I don't feel it so much, so double axles are good. Triple axle is probably gonna be later, I'm not gonna do it yet, but today's a special day because it's the first day I'm gonna try a quad sow cow. So it's been the first time I tried a quad in know, seven weeks now, give or take. I'm not really worried about it, I think it'll be, I think it'll be just fine. And then next week we'll maybe try some toes. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be running quad sows and quad toes before I even touch on triple flips and triple lutzes. Which is understandable, but also kind of like weird in the mind, you know? All right, let's get it. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart no barge in them. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up. Break you in, then break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chow. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. I'm gonna do one double and then go quad. And I was like super confident saying I wasn't gonna like worry about it, but I'm starting to get a little nervous. Get us every day. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap and real. Ain't no cap and real. The plastic bars wanna copy my steel. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap and real. Ain't no cap and real. The plastic bars wanna copy my steel. All right, so it's in the books. The first quad in eight weeks, I think. I'm gonna slowly increase the quad numbers. Zero pain. I felt zero pain on that jump, even though it wasn't a perfect landing. It was a little bit sketch, but zero pains. That's a really good sign. The only time I ever really feel pain is uh, only in the ankle when I'm skating. Um, the knee has been pretty good besides the occasional axle on the, on the swing through. 
but ankle's been feeling a lot better. And uh, the only time I really feel pain in the ankle is if I have a weird landing. So if there's like a little bit too much pivoting or um, if I like step out in a weird way. But for the most part, I get zero pain. And when I do get pain, it's something in the range of like, I don't know, like one out of 10 pain level, maybe two out of 10 pain level top, like max, which is uh, very promising, very good sign. We would definitely like to get that to zero at some point. But uh, I still have too much on flip and lutz. Flip and lutz, I just, just not ready yet. The ankle is not there yet. Not too concerned about that one. That one we can add in like later. Then it's just putting it all together in a program. Strategy right now is to do all the triples in long. So I'm running like, like I said, I'm running like three triple sows and three triple toes in a long program. Not realistic, but it gets me moving. It gets the heart pumping. I get a feeling of, you know, doing programs. And then slowly I'll start substituting those jumps out for whatever else I need to substitute for it. And then hopefully it won't be a shock when I put things together. If all goes to plan, my first major event this season will be Skate Canada International. And then if I don't get like another Grand Prix, then maybe we'll do like a Senior B more late season, maybe like December-ish, November. Um, but you know, we don't really know until like everything kind of settles down. Things are going as planned. <laughs> post-injury at least, and then we'll just adjust however we need to. Maybe I'll do like a more local competition just to like kind of get my feet under me and test stuff out. Maybe not do like a full loadout, but like a half loadout of like the program content. But yeah, the key is just getting healthy again and then hopefully everything will fall in place. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video here and then I'll continue another update another time. And with that info, I'm gonna check out of here. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Comment down below, tell me how you feel. And uh, you know, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button so that you know when the next update comes out. And I will catch you guys in the next video.